Uh, good morning, everybody. Good morning. My name is the Reverend James Hill. My name is Anna. Welcome to St. Jude and St. Paul's at home. Grace, mercy, and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you. And also with you. Hallelujah. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Hallelujah. In our service today, as we continue in this season of Easter, the gospel will show us Jesus walking along the road and encountering two of his disciples, and they in turn encounter Jesus in a new way. So in our service today, feel free to sing along, you know, dance in your living room if you want, do what you would normally do, and we're going to be celebrating communion a little bit later, so please feel free to get things ready for that as well. Chris is now going to lead us in our opening hymn, Amazing Grace. Uh, good morning, everybody. Um, I hope you're all well. Uh, my name's Chris, and um, I'm going to do a few more songs for you this week. So we're going to start with Amazing Grace. In our walk with God, life is full of ups and downs, and we don't always recognise God's presence with us. So let us now stop and confess our weakness and unbelief. We have lived by our own strength and not by the power of your resurrection. In your mercy, forgive us. Lord, hear us and help us. 
we have lived by the light of our own eyes, as faithless and not believing. In your mercy, forgive us. Lord, hear us and help us. We have lived for the world alone and doubted our home in heaven. In your mercy, forgive us. Lord, hear us and help us. May the God of love and power forgive you and free you from your sins, heal and strengthen you by his spirit, and raise you to new life in Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. in my heart.
Living God, your Son made himself known to his disciples in the breaking of bread. Open the eyes of our faith that we may see him in all his redeeming work, who is alive and reigns now and forever. Amen. The Walk to Emmaus Luke 24 verses 13 to 35 On that same day, two of Jesus' followers were going to a village named Emmaus, about 11 kilometres from Jerusalem, and they were talking to each other about all the things that had happened. As they talked and discussed, Jesus himself drew near and walked along with them. They saw him, but somehow didn't recognize him. Jesus said to them, What are you talking about to each other as you walk along? They stood still with sad faces. One of them, named Cleopas, asked him, Are you the only visitor in Jerusalem who doesn't know the things that have been happening there these last few days? What things, he asked. The things that happened to Jesus of Nazareth, they answered. This man was a prophet and was considered by God and by all the people to be powerful in everything he said and did. Our chief priests and rulers handed him over to to be sentenced to death and he was crucified. 
and we had hoped that he would be the one who was going to set Israel free. Besides all that, this is now the third day since it happened. Some of the women of, of our group surprised us. They went at dawn to the tomb, but could not find his body. They came back saying they had seen a vision of angels who told them that he is alive. Some of our group went to the tomb and found it exactly as the women had said, but they did not see G him. Then Jesus said to them, How foolish you are! How slow, slow you are to believe everything the prophets said! Was it not necessary for the Messiah to suffer these things and then to enter his glory? And Jesus explained to them what was said about himself in all the scriptures, beginning with the books of Moses and the writings of all the prophets. As they came near the village to which they were going, Jesus acted as if he were going farther. But they held him back, saying, Stay with us. The day is almost over and it's getting dark. So he went in to stay with them. He sat down to eat with them, took the bread and said the blessing. Then he broke the bread and gave it to them. Then their eyes were opened and they recognised him, but he disappeared from their sight. They said to each other, wasn't it like a fire burning in us when he talked to us on the road? and explained the scriptures to us. They got up at once and went back to Jerusalem, where they found the eleven disciples gathered together with the others and saying, The Lord is risen indeed. He has appeared to Simon. The two then explained to them what had happened on the road and how they had recognised the Lord when he broke the bread. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. A couple of days ago, I asked the members of St. Jude and St. Paul's to send in their favourite Bible passages, passages of scripture where they felt God was speaking to them. I'd like to share a few of them with you now. There is 2 Chronicles 7, 14, which says, If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven, I will forgive their sins and heal their land. Psalm 27, verse 13, which says, I am still confident of this, that I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord, be strong and take heart and wait for the Lord. Isaiah 43 verse 1 But now this is what the Lord says, He who created you, Jacob, He who formed you, Israel, do not fear, for I have redeemed you, I have summoned you by name, you are mine. Psalm 28 verse 7 The Lord is my strength and my shield, my heart trusted in him, and I am helped. Therefore my heart greatly rejoiceth, and with my song will I praise him. John 3.16 For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him will not perish, but have everlasting life. Romans 8.28 And we know that God causes all things to work together for good, to those who love God, to those who are called according to his purpose. Psalm 23, verse 4. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil, for thou art with me. And Psalm 66, verse 19. God has surely listened and heard my voice in prayer. And 1 Peter 3, verse 8. Finally, all of you, live in harmony with one another, be sympathetic, love as brothers, be compassionate and humble. Do not repay evil with evil or insult with insult. 
but with blessing, because to this you were called, so that ye may inherit a blessing. Behind this little exercise is my assumption that God is speaking through the scriptures. God has done this for thousands of years, and God still speaks to us today through the scriptures. Sometimes it's to bring assurance in times of difficulty or encouragement that God has listened and heard our prayer. Or perhaps sometimes they bring challenge to us when we need to be confronted. Or sometimes it helps us to live best in community with others. Sometimes it brings hope when we've lost all hope and we've given up. Often it's difficult to hear God speaking especially in these challenging times, in the midst of pain, confusion, or doubt, or when we're struggling with mental health, with anxiety, depression, or just feeling worried. This is the situation I believe that the disciples were in when Jesus met them on the road to Emmaus. It's the day of the resurrection and we're told there are two disciples going to a village called Emmaus. It was about seven miles or 11 kilometers from Jerusalem, and they're talking with each other about the events that had happened. What events were these? Well, they were about Jesus, and how the chief priests and the rulers handed over Jesus to be crucified, how they laid him in a tomb. But when the women went there early in the morning, they couldn't find his body. Not only that, but the woman had seen a vision of angels who said that Jesus was actually alive, yet they couldn't see Jesus anywhere. So, understandably, these two disciples were very frightened and confused. And Jesus comes alongside them in this moment and begins to walk with them and listen to the conversation and, in a sense, teases them, pretending he doesn't know what they're talking about. Verse 17, it says, he asked them, what are you discussing? What are you discussing as you walk along together? The disciples were downcast and they couldn't believe that there was actually someone who didn't know what had just happened in Jerusalem. And so they say to Jesus, you must be the only visitor to Jerusalem to not know anything that's happened in these last couple of days. And Jesus simply says, what things? And so they tell the whole story again about the events that had happened in Jerusalem. And they still don't realize it, but this person who is walking with them is in fact Jesus, although he's incognito. Surprisingly, this stranger then says how foolish they were and how slow of heart they were to believe all the prophets had spoken. Did not the Messiah, the Christ, have to suffer these things and then enter his glory? And then this stranger begins to go through the scriptures with them, starting with Moses and all the prophets to explain to them all that was said concerning himself. They finally get to their destination on this road to Emmaus, and the stranger, who we now know to be Jesus, is then invited to stay because it's nearly evening and the day is almost over. And then when they eat dinner together, Jesus takes the bread, give thanks, breaks it, and begins to give it to them. And then, finally, their eyes are opened, and they recognize him just before he disappears yet again. It's only in this point in the story where the disciples realize what was happening on the road on the journey when they say, were not our hearts burning within us while he talked with us on the road and opened the scriptures to us? Each of you will have scriptures, I'm sure, where you felt God has spoken to you through the Holy Spirit, where you felt your heart burning within you. For some of you, that will be a long time ago, or a few months ago, perhaps, or even a few years. But my challenge to you today is to not let it stay in the past. As we sang earlier, we ask for God to open the eyes of our hearts. So let's keep asking God to open the eyes of our hearts and to open our minds, to open our ears as well, so that we can hear God speaking to each one of us 
on this journey of faith that we walk. Personally, I found great joy in the scriptures in morning prayer together these past weeks. Do join us if you are able to join us for morning prayer. But however we do it, I recommend for all of us to find our own pattern of reading, of arguing, of understanding, so that our hearts can burn within us. And I recommend that we do that in community, that we do it with other people. Life is full of ups and downs, isn't it? As it was for those early disciples. And even with the best teachers, we're not always going to get a full understanding of the scriptures. Jesus comes alongside each one of us though, as we walk. Sometimes he's hidden, sometimes he's in disguise, incognito. Sometimes he's playing the fool. Sometimes he's challenging us, and sometimes he's de deconstructing things that we believe, things that we hold to be true. But in all of this, Jesus is with us each step of the way. Amen. Today I'd like to pray for the NHS. Um, throughout this time, the NHS, NHS has seemed like the cornerstone for our prevention and dealing with this illness, this pandemic. And I pray that throughout this time, even though there's a lack of funding and lack of support from the government, we pray that it will continue to prevail and continue to help those in need. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Mm. I'd like to pray for the church and their endless efforts to to pray for all those who's unfortunate in this tragic time in, by by helping to cure them with the power of the power, the spirit and the body of the Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. I pray for babies and the help that they need because they all need special attention and care. Mm -hmm. uh, amen. 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 And I'd like to pray for all the people that are homeless in this very difficult time, for families that are not able to provide for their children. I remember those people that are in prison I pray for them today I pray that Lord Jesus will give them the strength they need I also pray for the children the model um, model motherless baby homes children that that are orphans that don't have people to care for them to look after them I pray that Lord Jesus will strengthen them who provide love, who surround them with love, that whoever that is caring for them, that are in charge of them, will show them love and will look after them from their hearts. And I also like to pray today for children that are in war torn countries and families and their families. We pray, Lord Jesus, that you guide them, you protect them, O oh Lord. We pray that you strengthen them, O oh Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Hello, everyone. I want to pray for all the elderly that have bigger risks for dying from the coronavirus. So we pray that we protect all the elderly people and other people, of course, from the coronavirus. And if and if there's any chances we can take to save them, we'll do anything to save the NH to save the NHS and everyone else that needs help from that. And we also pray for the man in the shoe shop that we know that that died from the coronavirus. He he has been doing that for a long time, and we pray for less risks. And we pray that the man, that because of the man that lives close to us, we have to we have to protect ourselves as the virus might be spreading to us too. In Jesus' name, Amen. 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 Come
faith find forgiveness at the cross. So we share in this bread of life as we drink of his sacrifice as a sign of our bonds of peace around the table of Savior Jesus Christ torn for you. Eat and remember the wounds that heal, the death that brings us life. Pay the price to make us one. So we share in the bread of life as we drink of its sacrifice. we come to celebrate communion today, we remember that Jesus was made known in the breaking of the bread. I'm joined today in our communion prayer with Johnny and Lucy and Anna. Do you guys want to say hello? Hi. Thank you. And we're going to be following the same liturgy that we used a couple weeks ago on Easter Sunday. So there's a part for everyone to play, for the children, for the grown-ups and me. And so when I say holy, if the children could respond with holy and then the grown-ups at home and everywhere can say holy as well. Let's try that. Holy. 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 Fantastic. So the Lord is here. His spirit is with us. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. Holy. 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 It's always right to give you thanks, God our Creator, loving and faithful, holy and strong. You made us and the whole universe and filled your world with life. Holy. 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 You sent your Son to live among us, Jesus our Saviour, Mary's child. He suffered on the cross, he died to save us from our sins, and he rose in glory from the dead. Holy. 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 You send your spirit to bring new life to the world and clothe us with power from on high. And so we join the angels to celebrate and sing. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. 
Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Father, on the night before he died, Jesus shared a meal with his friends. He took the bread and he thanked you. He broke it and he gave it to them, saying, Take and eat. This is my body given for you. Do this to remember me. After the meal, Jesus took the cup of wine. He thanked you and he gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood, the new promise of God's unending love. Do this to remember me. Jesus Christ has died. Jesus Christ has died. Jesus Christ is risen. Jesus Christ is risen. Jesus Christ will come again. Jesus Christ will come again. Father, as we bring this bread and wine and remember his death and resurrection, send your Holy Spirit that we who share these gifts may be fed by Christ's body and his blood. Amen. 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 Pour your Spirit on us that we may love one another, work for the healing of the earth, and share the good news of Jesus as we wait for his coming in glory. Amen. 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 For honour and praise belong to you, Father, with Jesus, your Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. 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 And as our risen Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father, Father in heaven, heaven, hallowed be your name. Your, your kingdom, kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, because, because we, we all share in the one bread. Hallelujah. Christ, our Passover, is sacrificed for us. Therefore, Therefore let, let us, us keep, keep the, the feast. feast. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
Thank you everyone for joining us in our service today. And thank you to the Inwanzes for leading us in intercessions, to uh, Simone for reading, for Chris and Stuart as well, who helped out with the music. And thanks to everyone who sent in their favorite Bible passages. It was great that everyone was able to contribute in that way. We want to invite you this week, if you are able, that when you go on your daily walk or cycle, to be conscious of Jesus' presence alongside you. And let us together pray for our neighbours and the businesses as we pass them. So in all the ups and downs of our walk with God, may you know that Christ is there walking with you each step of the way. And the blessing of God Almighty, Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen. Oh uh -huh.